Juggernaut was being banned a couple times yesterday. You had your Jug bands, you had your PL bands, uh, right. you also had your Troll bands. Troll had a really high ban rate. I mean, and those are just the heroes of the patch, right? The thing is, Aristotle can't really pick any of those heroes anymore. I'm surprised they didn't ban out more in the second uh, phase, but instead wanted to take out... Who is that? They wanted to take out the Beastmaster instead, which totally makes sense, especially if uh, Demon's going to be on CM. That sounds pretty miserable, but I mean, CM's actually pretty good versus Beast. I'm still sad. I there's no uh, demons been on CM and Undying the entire uh, DPC so far. But maybe he'll start propping off. I'm I'm sure of it. Yeah, he'll he'll find his he'll find his way. Uh, speaking of finding the way though, they do pick up the Slardar, which is like one of the more common counters to Ricky. It, like the other one is like the Bounty Hunter one. So it's just an immediate Viper to try and counter it. I mean, it's just it's this it's the coil mentality, right? So. It's actually it's not even coil mentality. It's technically an answer as if like the Mars was the kind of kind of scenario. So you drop coil. Okay, I don't know about this anymore. I think electronic boys no longer have the draft. I saw well, Lycan yesterday for uh, the Lukey Lukey game because uh, Summit wanted me to comment on uh, commentate on it right as the game was starting. So mm -hmm. sad sadly, I had to let you go, and then they were like, hey. The other game is still going on, and I went to go <laughs> broadcast the game, and, and they picked a Lycan in this exact scenario versus these kind of heroes. Let's just hope they don't pick Medusa. That yeah, well, would... that was also there, too. <laughs> I mean, they're... you don't run safe Medusa, and you can't run... Well, Lycan is safe, right? You can't run yeah. offlane Medusa, but you can run offlane Puck. It's not great I, anymore, is the problem. No, no Medusa, please. <laughs> I don't think Electronic Boys will pick it. But Lycan is, is really good versus offlane Viper is the, the mental... In the long long term, I guess. In the lane, oh, I think it is kind of miserable. But Lycan really... I mean, CM is food. Viper doesn't really have any efficacy on that hero. I mean, the other two heroes are kind of meh. I mean, like in natural Necro 3 builder, Ricky kind of doesn't want to deal with that. But still, I mean, Lycan is a good pick here, but he just needs to get something out of the lane. You saw yesterday in that game specifically, he just got nothing. And his team had no counterplay. They, what, they had like Marana. They had some... They just Position couldn't make any Marana, plays. Yeah. <laughs> well, they had like Marana. Let me see if I can find the game. Yeah, they had Marana, Winter Wyvern, Pit Ward. And then Lycan. Yeah, it so wasn't Puck exactly... Shadow Shaman, hopefully. Puck Shadow Shaman Slaughter, they can get something going on the map a little easier. They, it's better playmakers, that's for sure. Now, the one thing that was in that game, though, was a Mars. Mars is still mm -hmm. in the pool, and Mars is really good against the Lycan in the lane. Well, and Aristotle are looking for uh, an offlaner. And I, you see immediately, Electronic Boys, they want the timber saw out makes complete sense to strength course so far but yeah like you said the mars in the pool i mean mars is kind of that the lockdown they would want but they'd have to run it mid so i don't know if aristotle they want to go for that i mean you could run mid viper versus puck, you could though. run the mid viper versus puck but it, it's really bad just because the the mana cost on the q is a little bit too high to be missing what every like four hits or something because of the phase shift right I mean, at that point, you would just go for the Nether Toxin build, you know, like the Shrapnel build for Sniper. Yeah, yeah, just go yeah. forward into, the into Nether Toxin to push the lane. Because that's like the, that's the I don't win, but I don't lose the lane kind of ordeal there. That might be, it's still probably what they're looking at. Like, are they, can, like, Electronic Boys are looking at, can they justify a Mars pickup? They picked up the, oh, all right, you know what? The Bat wasn't banned first phase. I didn't even think about Bat in this scenario. Yeah, because bat and, in and, the off and in the mid would have just dominated, and that's something that uh, electronic boys have kind of experimented with, especially with the night stalker and viker and voker first phase bands. Is they just kind of ignore these heroes later on, and people just kind of forget about it. Jakiro. Interesting. So this is a off lane slardar then, and not off lane slardar player. mid puck. All right. Interesting support duo, Sham and Jakiro. I mean, these are both low, like, these are low, both low-cost supports. Like, they're well, definitely, and, like, non-green. wins the offline, I think. 
Like, Viper, yes, if they get on top of the Jakiro, he's in trouble, but Viper has a really hard time trading into the POS5 Jakiro. He might uh, even just go for, like, we saw yesterday that one Viper that just uh, got his W level 1 and just kept on pushing in the waves. Naga. Alright, well, I'd like to, I'd love to say summons versus summons. Mid-Ricky. But... Oh my goodness. Mid-Ricky. Okay. So this is going to be, a, huh. this is a complete timing game because Rises, I mean, Naga is really good versus like, you just always have a disengage, but if they get their BKBs up, if they get everything up, the only bad thing is, right, if you BKB on Lycan and you're running at the Naga, your summons aren't following if the song's up. So a lot of the time you could just kind of TP out of those situations. So, I mean, if they get their BKBs, if they get their Roche timings really fast on Electronic Boys, they could very well steamroll this game. But if they don't hit those timings pretty hard, I mean, I think Aristotle just have way better late game. They've got the offlane Viper. They've got way more farm potential, especially with the mid Ricky. I This is a, a pretty even draft, I think. Electronic boys are kind of uh, not all in, but they're, they, they're up to fight Aristotle in this game. Yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's a game of time for sure. Electronic boys, because like what? When you pick a like and you want to win the game early. Right, because you get the you get the necro book, and as soon as you have necro book, you're like, all right, we're gonna keep pushing, we're gonna keep pushing, we're gonna keep pushing as much as humanly possible. But like you were saying, they, they are on a extremely strict timer, and I I personally don't think they're gonna be able to get there because God knows that Crystal Maiden will just go stack in the jungle, and then as soon as they're ready, they're gonna be just stacking the the Naga Sirens, just gonna flash farm. And that's the big thing, is that Naga is a huge Flash Farmer, because the illusions are just way too strong for her. And I think a lot of the pressure in this game, as we saw yesterday as well with the Puck players, is everything is kind of revolving around Puck to really get the party started. And I mean, if it's good, it's going to be good. Because without that initiation, I mean, your, your support too is Jakiro Shadow Shaman, right? You're really, really leaning into this Puck, just kind of keeping them there. And then everybody else supplying the damage. And I mean, the damage is good, but not too much control, especially for the Ricky. So I have to see if that here starts falling out. But we, you see the smoke up? If they're doing it again, they did it yesterday. But Rises went for the illusion, so they don't have a net. You usually don't go for net anyway, off the get-go. But looks like... Go for the Crystal Nova. No blink strike for the Ricky. Counting. They tip him. Oh, see, oh. They're, they're like double wrapping right now. It's it's a three on four, but... If Demon gets a little too close to that bounty run, I mean, he might just get traded out instead. I mean, there is a Lycan Wolf that scouts out the fact there's nobody at the lower bounty runes. And they see that how the whole Dire team is here. They do. Oh, yep, and here they come. But there's that double wrap that you're talking about. Those coming in for... Uh, Double A coming in from the low ground. The roll out of there. They're like, okay, we got to go. And Crystal Maiden, I don't think, is going to be oh, able to get he that. He gets the shackle. Scenario. Yep, that, that looks like a dead Maiden for sure. That's all the burn damage coming in there. And he knows that he's gone. So he is going to have to fade away with that one. Unfortunately, he had to skill shackles to get that kill. But I think uh, I think Mio's pretty happy with that one. Yeah, he's, he's all right with that. I uh, get the lane started off pretty easily for them. But, you know, well, it, it's say lovey. And I didn't even think about it, but uh, Naga's actually one of the best heroes versus Slardar. So there are really a lot of reasons why this Naga pick is really going to be hard. Giant's going to have a really rough lane, I think. Especially early on with double A getting Shackle. Well, mid lane. Prince just right-clicked Mio. How is that? Mid You're telling me that a mid Ricky is currently winning Puck's total HP pool? What did he do? Wait, oh, he just blink strike comp. Did he? He must have been under the tower then. Yeah, I I don't know what happened. <laughs> He's just pushing in the wave, and he took like I think ninety percent of his HP. It's good he got the first blood because he would be out of region now if he didn't. But Prince, oh, hopefully we get to see him pop off in this game because yesterday he really got shut down. Blaining versus Bryl. I mean that that can't be fun. Blaining versus Bryl, <laughs> especially when he's got the matchup on you in both those games. Yeah, he, he was definitely the mid lane, uh, mid, lane, mid lane winner almost the whole entire time in that game. But you know what? They had a whole day to kind of sit down and be like, all right, we need to reassess everything. We need to figure out 
how we can not get kicked out immediately within these lower brackets. Because it, it is do or die time now. Well, and Speed is having a much better lane than like like this this last pick Chikiro. I mean, it is it's securing him, and I think that's exactly what they want because it, it's the Lycan versus the the Dire basically. I think in this game, so he really needs to have a good start. I'm actually surprised because yesterday I saw the Lycan just not go for boots or anything like that. Oh, top lane, Aga Siren getting harassed a little bit there. I don't think there's oh. Able Giant nah. does whiff the stun. I feel like you could have gone a little bit earlier with that. Oh, big. Oh, hang on. Bot now. Apparently, there's a dive underneath the tower here. This on is to the... Albino. One more uh, poison attack. Oh, yeah, this... he doesn't get it. Oh. But he has a rolling boulder. I I'm surprised Sabo didn't go for it. Maybe he was trying to figure out which target they wanted to go for in particular, but I think the Lycan Wolves were actually body blocking Bloody Sky pretty effectively there. He couldn't end yeah, up just getting that last right speed. click on there. Yeah, you know what's funny? Viper flies, right? How How is it that flying heroes can't just walk over creeps? He, low aerial, you know, he, he's a helicopter. He's a, <laughs> He doesn't put a lot of effort into flying, I feel like. Well, judging by his current model being the cosmetics he has, mobility is not a strong suit. I did Ooh, see top. up in the top, very briefly, that Crystal Maiden does go down there. This is the only downside to running Crystal Maiden in this top lane. As soon as there's any sort of way to catch him, Maiden's just dead every time. Well, and that is the hero that they're definitely going to focus on in this lane. I don't think they can really ever kill Rises, especially if he just plays a little safe. It's just it's just that matchup. There, there's not much that Giant or Double A can really do. And they can't really punish uh, Double A or, or Giant either. They're just... Uh, not the combination of heroes to really do that. And I don't think, yeah, Ryzen isn't going for the Orb of Corrosion either. I think he's just going to prioritize his own farm instead. I mean, I wouldn't An be item, surprised if he turns around I don't think anybody <laughs> has one, actually, in this game. At least not yet. No no Orb of Corrosion's queued up uh, across the board. I mean... And Prince gets the rune. Yeah, Ricky getting one is is something I would feel would be kind of standard, but maybe in the fact that he's against Mio in this lane, it's not going to do that much like effectiveness because it's just his his attacks on Mio in particular is a combination of just blink strike and tricks. Well, and oh, we saw that yesterday. Oh, Common in a trouble oh, there, boy. but he tries to go for the shackle time. He actually got the right one, but just got bursted down immediately by Crystal Maiden right afterwards, so wasn't yeah, really able I to hold that Yeah, I think he just one. got let his uh, health pool get a little bit low, and then just... If if they if he gets too slowed up, I mean, the Naga Illusions, they really hurt. They really, really hurt. Yeah, I mean, Riptide is uh, no joke. It is... It, I know it says 40 damage, but it's also the armor reduction, so it's the... It's the follow-up damage that comes from Naga Illusions. All right, bound and on 5-minute runes... Oh, oh, there is a Shackle. So Naga not looking like to get this bounty rune. He's gonna have to let it slide. Oh, it's a good play. Double I trying to body block. He would have died otherwise. He might still be in trouble here. Does get stunned up with the bash. Will get oh, but slowed. Double A he needs to be careful. Oh, yeah. There's the power of those illusions in the Riptide. Just Shaman getting torn up by Naga illusions, but they will trade support for support here. He's got. Oh, nice. Yeah, that that's the bash damage right there. Yeah, Demo was actually die. pretty close to surviving. He got both his spells off, but just like one one hit away from from being able to turn around and frostbite. Ooh, but Mio's I, actually top. I didn't even realize this. This is the power of that uh, of having Coil right up at level six. That's the thing. It's just we talked about it during the draft. Every time Coil's up, there has to be a kill, and he's he's done it again. <laughs> And I mean, he just needs to keep doing that. I think if the Lycan can always stay ahead of the Naga in this game, he's going to be really, really happy with where the uh, the mid game is going to be going in this game. He's going for a Veil right now, which is something we actually didn't see on any pucks yesterday, but just wanting that uh, magic burst damage. And, it, and it's great for his supports. Just amplifies them so much. Yeah, he's there. Are, it is strictly all magic game, basically. The only physical damage you're really going to get out of this game is the starter oh, and the eventuality of Lycan. Speaking of which, like you're saying, bottom, he's getting chased down by this Viper. The Maiden's here as well. This looks like a dead Viper. Yeah, he, he does get the last click on there. Viper, the one to claim the kill. Just not really much you can really do with that Jakiro there. The yeah, the day. I think Ryze is going to be pretty happy. He's just going to hit up the jungle. 
demon rotates and his rotation was very successful. Killing this Lycan as many times as possible pre-6 is going to be really important. We'll see. I mean, Viper's going to be 6 before he is. We'll, we'll have to see if uh, he goes down again in the bot lane. But they're actually rotating on the mid. Yeah, it looks like they want to get this puck. They want to punish him. But at the same time, there is a ward that scouts it out immediately. They're pinging him like crazy. Yeah, they just give up as soon as they know, know the jig's up. But I think speed, yeah, he's just going to hit up the jungle. Once he get his, gets his necro, he's going to be able to farm the entire jungle. He's going to have a pretty good time. I actually, like, honestly can't believe that we're back to the meta of Necrobook being, like, the thing. Because, like, it wasn't even that long ago when it was all cores were, pi were picking up necros to farm. Yeah, it, it, well, before it was like, you get, you get a Midas or you get a necro. Everybody just got a Necro. <laughs> yeah, well, it was just like, Necro had a much more immediate payoff because you could push with it. Midas was like, if you're Ogre McGee, that's the only reason you would get it. When also, wasn't Necro on like 2150 or something ridiculous? It was yeah, like it was the cheapest cheap. item in all oh, the body blocks top. Oh. I thought He's was out. lag, but it was just giant getting stuck on top of the Ricky there. In bottom lane, they're diving again. Yeah, they, well, they know that there's only one hero down here, and by that, I mean there's actually just two supports. They do find the Shaq. Neo. The Viper does go down in the trade here with Neo's rotation. And they get a double kill off of this one. Not not a physical double, as it was split off of the tower there, but... Still, coming down here and being able to get these kills, dedicating Coil. He did expend TP, so he's not going to be able to get back to this mid lane at the moment. But still, it's he's perfectly fine with this transaction. Yeah, and I mean, you show, I mean, you basically showed three heroes top. I'm sure Giant called out that he's getting body blocked by a Ricky. And as soon as that rotation fails, they tried diving at the same time. And Mew had no threat. There, there's no worry about another rotation coming in. And he's fine taking bottom for now. Speed is uh, kind of done down here for the time being while he farms up his Necro 3. But uh, they're actually going in on Viper. Well, they saw the very easy opportunity to kill him the first time. Double A with no mana. He actually doesn't have Hex just yet, but will not land the value Ice Pass, but still gets the kill anyway. And Sazbo coming in there, I don't know what... It looked like he was kind of dead there, Chief, and now you're dead too. Prince comes in as well. We're feeding one by one ninja style. But Prince isn't yeah, going to go down here and make the same mistake. And speed just takes mid, he just farms up the jungle, and I mean, it, it's almost like that bottom lane didn't really affect him. Like, even after that one death, he's completely fine, completely recovered. I mean, I don't want to be like, that's the power of a summons-based hero, but it's literally the fact that summons are back to being the main game again. It's as soon as you get a necro book, you're farming like crazy. And then, what was it, because... I mean, what, they banned the Beastmaster, right, in the pat in the Giants draft. come bottom. Oh no. Four heroes down bot. They have the reveal finally for Slardar. And this looks like a dead Ricky with the bash follow up Neo. With the coil as well getting that kill. This is the this is the coil mentality. Puck's not on the map. And the like be scared. Shape -shift? He's shaping up. He's oh, ready demon. to go for Demon. And Demon just not able to make it. Getting chewed by creeps alone. And now it's going to be Zosbo as well. Gets burnt and that's out the by power this like He just matches up so well into the enemy team. Like... Earth Spirit, you just need to run, see him, you just need to run. And until Naga can get online, can song, and really, do, you know, buy time for them, it's it's a really, really good Lycan game. I mean, like, and a perfect it's... rotation, too. Like, Giant just comes bottom, reveals him, and close up, they kill Ricky. It's... oh boy. They drop the wards, the Ice Path is there to perfect slow down the path. roll. They do have a silence out from Mio. No coil quite yet. 15 seconds, but they have these wards on the tower here. This, the, it's just going to keep burning away, but for some reason we're targeting heroes with them. But still, tower did get pretty low. They have four heroes in the mid, which means we were looking at the Lycan and he's free farming. We're looking at the Slardar. He can't contest rises, but it's just both safe lane cores are able to do whatever they want while they're having this tissy fit in the mid. Owen oh, rises is going to take some damage top. But he's fine. Swapping they smoke up the bottom. Let's they see. get speed. Oh, nice juke, but... Yeah, he's gonna be in trouble there. The rest of the team is here, and this isn't good for your Lycan. He was very close to getting the second, or the third recipe for the Necronomicon. And then they smoke up to find Rises. Now, it's really up to him to kind of make the call and not get caught out here. Man, and I he think is... he'll be fine, but... He's got yeah. the, uh... got Dream Coil. And I think as soon as he sees it, yeah, they walk into the scan, he knows, he's running. Perfect call from Ryze. Yeah, they were like, 
We don't see anybody on the map. Puck is gone. He's level six. He's got his ult, so it's time to leave. We've seen this story before. Viper in the mid, though. Pretty low here. It's actually first item boot to travel. He didn't finish that pipe. Very greedy. Thing to the top lane. He's actually at half HP. Giant, if he wants to, could turn actually on Bloody Sky if he finds a good angle. I think he's just worried on, uh, it's really hard for him to ever kill the Viper just because he drops the, uh, the puddle on the ground and then can't, uh, can't bash anymore. So one rotation, I mean, he just dies to magnetize. Right, but gets the Blink Dagger on Giant. A pretty, really fast Blink Dagger, actually. And then I think Ricky's gonna need to be really scared. I thought they were lining up to possibly head bottom here with that blink dagger, but they haven't revealed it quite yet. Is he in the lane with it? He is not. Okay, so they don't know. Coming out on the courier. Yeah. There's I think he's no probably going to farm this wave out and then, like you said, make that rotation towards bottom. Albino Zebra 1 is ready to defend this tower. And if they get the Naga kill, it's going to be pretty massive. He's that saving a skill point in case he needs to use his ultimate. They don't have a fort, though. They do have a shackle. They find the oh, Earth Spirit in the it. back. They Can got the silence silent. immediately with the coil. This looks like a dead Naga, and it's huge indeed. They find they get the kill on the Naga. I think that's all they're going to really get, though. Here I comes hear the, the Lycan, though, coming in. He's looking for somebody, but he can't find anybody immediately, so he's going straight to the Viper, and nice he's already silence, traveling yeah. out. But meanwhile, in the bot, they do manage to find the kill on Sazbo. Sympathy. Yep, great plays from Mio, and I mean... He, he did everything right. He saved the skill point. He was just a little bit too close. He tried casting Song of the Siren, but he just couldn't get it off. They wanted out as soon as they rotated all those heroes. I mean, Buddy Sky's farming. I mean, he's got boots of travel, so he could he could do that farming game as much as he wants. Well, he's going Spirit Festival, too. Inter interesting. I mean, he did get countered in this game, so I, I guess he's just trying to make the best of it, but it, 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 these are some greedy items. I mean, you got 15 points of regen on your Lycan. I guess that's oh, maybe a good reason bot. to go for it. They want to defend towards. bottom. They're rolling oh, in, they have a. the silence immediately on double A. No wards available for any defensive protocol, but they still do a lot of damage on his going out here. But this guy does TP in as well. He puts the ultimate down, but at the same time, Prince burning away. He's going to be fine at the end of the day. And you just they see Slardar getting wards. kited left and right. He's like, at the wards are my only advantage. <laughs> Yeah, it, it would have been, I, I think Ricky and ES both would have died, but Mio actually didn't have enough mana for Waning Rift. I think they just kind of overstayed their welcome bottom after getting those uh, original kills. But Rises! He walks right into Rises, but I think this is more of a, a retreat than a aggressive play here. Yeah. Oh, and Aditi spawns up top. If they scout it, they, they might be able to try Roche now, especially with Song down. Song magnetized. They don't have a lot of ultimates on the dire side. They're pinging it out. Puck's got it bottled. So I don't know if they can actually with... No, Puck's okay, got maybe no. damage. 200. DD. They need the Necron, I think, if they want to take the Roche. And it's and about... speed claims the top tower. Yeah, it's about a minute off. I mean, the Necron is up. Like, active. If they want Roche, it's got to be now. But it's too little too late at this point. They might be lining up to go for the tier 2. Oh, and Speed's actually going for Drums of Endurance. I don't think I've seen that item yet, but I mean, I like it. I like Drums a lot in this uh, in the patch, but I haven't seen a lot of people build it. Orbs kind of sh overshadowed all the early game items. Here we come. Speed getting oh, body blocked by Giant, trying to put some damage down, but looks like it's just going to be used to confirm this tower here. Or not. He's, he's going to go into the jungle. Yeah, and I mean, they did get Glyph. That, that, that was the one good thing, is Glyph still just murders your Necro Creeps, but they've got a cart in the top lane. In mid, actually, they coiled. Well, they do drop the coil down, and here comes the Crystal Maiden coming in with some damage, and they will manage to get this kill and his courier. Yeah, I don't think they were expecting the entire, really dire squad to just roll up on them like that. But they are going to get the top tower for that, uh, that's giant death. I mean, you're trading a tier 1 for a tier 2, and all, your whole entire Dire team is mid. I think Radiant is perfectly fine with this trade. And they're actually going to try to defend it, it looks like, with the Jakiro. Well, they dropped the wards on the tower, so they know that it's, like, no longer needing to be watched by anybody. The tower is down already, too, so they have plenty of time for this rotation. The Slardar will be up with the TP available. Made in the back lines. Actually does manage to get hit oh. by the stun. And the I slow. mean, they've got Coil in 20 seconds. 
They need to be a little bit careful here. They don't have shapeshift though, so I think this is a little bit of a bluff play coming out from Radiant. Well, I mean, oh, you giant. can see the Lycan Wolves were just cleaning up Demon there. Now they do... When the immediate there. smoke up, they're just trying to catch people now. They see the Viper with those wolves. I mean, yeah, they've got four seconds left on Coil. I think that's what they're waiting for. But now the silence oh, comes in. This was died. a bait the whole entire oh. time. He does manage to get out. And now here comes the Coil. Beautiful three, man. Sosmo's the first ones to fall. Ricky next to fall as well. Fighting underneath the Nether Toxin. They're not even phased. They get this kill. And they Can got they rise. get the Naga? They find Naga too. And oh, they the do song. have the song, Just though. barely. Just in time, so Rises is able to get out of that one, but still trading four in a fight that you definitely thought you would have been winning. Well, and that was without Shapeshift. That was without Macro Pyre. That was without Shaman Wards. They really didn't have to use anything to, to win that fight. They just caught him out. And I mean, an Illusion Rune on the Puck too. He was just able to get out of the Earth Spirit Silence, and he literally just walked out of the Smoke Cloud. He doesn't have that Diffusal yet on Ricky, so... They're just making plays a little bit before their timing. And they just got ch completely chased off the T1. They didn't even trade towers. This is not... I mean, the is it safe to say that the timer has been met? Yeah, the, well, the, the clock has definitely started ticking. It's, it's, it's getting to the point almost where I think Ricky is not going to be able to show up to fights with the Necro 3. It's... And I mean, they've got the Naga for that explicit reason, but it's only level one song. They Their get out of jail free card is not always going to be available to them. And I think at this stage of the game, yep, going to start heading to the pit. They're going to have to start losing objectives and they're going to start running out of objectives to lose at this rate. I mean, it, it's not out of control yet, though, like you're saying. Naga, I think the only thing that they have to do I mean, Naga has to start carrying. I don't think an Eye of Scotty is the way that you carry as a Naga right now. There might be other better items, like the classic Diffusal was one of the more classic uh, kill the enemy heroes kind of one. It might be because the Ricky's already got one that he's like, I don't really need to get it. Uh, I mean, it's an agility item. It gives you damage. It's the like one of the best things for Naga. Oh, Sabo. Well, and I think he just something. really wants to, to tank up and get something going i mean it, it, i think it's really just for the stats he doesn't necessarily want to get a bk or a, a butterfly just because they're all magic damage so he doesn't want to waste his his money but there really are few good items because you can't get an ac you can't get you can't get a lot of good items that are typically good on naga this game just because uh, i think the pace that's being met right now is just a little bit too fast and i mean they knew this going in they last picked the naga but oh coil yeah speaking of naga can't dispel that one, trying to force oh, He's trying to break it. Trying his best there, but the rest of the team is oh, here. Now he's in, he's going to a good storm off here, but the Hex is there finally. But Mio just actually dying. First damage to these Naga Illusions. He will burn oh, no. the Aegis, but still, they managed to trade for getting the kill on Rises there. So I don't think he's really concerned about that one. Obviously, the Aegis would have been in a better position had they not used it, but, you know, it's it's what happens. Death's yeah. Mid tower's deniable, by the way. I don't know why they haven't done it yet. Maybe they want to well, keep I, it as bait. Well, and it's also, you never want to lose your mid tower just because it, it keeps that central defense. You know, I, I think we saw yesterday, all, every team really prioritizes it just because it's, it's the key to the jungle. You know, every smoke, you just walk past that tower. You can really access the entire map if you have that tower. So keeping it alive as long as possible. Or for, at least forcing like Ricky or something to sneak over there and kill it. it it's just a another obstacle that Dyer still has to overcome. Will they overcome it is the biggest question. Because this Lycan, he is now top of the net worth, finally. Because we didn't see it for a little while there. Now Naga is back up to the top. But we do have oh. a Shackle combo. They want to disengage. Yeah, they, they can't really stay here. They have to sacrifice the Shaman here. Double A's like, I, I know what I'm... I know. <laughs> Well, and once fate. Giant gets his BKB, that get out of jail free card gets a little bit more complicated because the slaughter is just going to continue to stick on you. And, oh, the mid tower will get taken up. If they finally get it. So now that, like you were saying, they will be able to get that extra smoke based rotations coming in. That'll be nice. Oh, and if they find Giant, it would be really big. I mean, they, they're looking at him, they see him, and they feel him, and they get the silence as well with the net, the follow-up, and every little bit of damage is there. 
Very nice. I mean, they're starting to off. snowball this a little bit. They, yeah, they can't push mid. The Jakiro is going to continue to delay, but almost has an AC on speed. And I mean, it's almost impossible for the, the dire supports to play into that. Yeah, because. But Viper, I think, almost has a Crimson Guard too. I mean, I still think that, like, even with a Crimson Guard, your Maiden has very low base HP. In fact, doesn't even have a fluffy hat. Like, these two wolves in front of the Maiden right now could probably kill him if if, if I could pop the Do see that the wolves are around, though, with that sentry. So, just going to keep flying around there. Courier! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, that's always the sad part about, you know that there's a Lycan in this game. You'll just run those wolves around and just kill clip couriers like that. Well, and losing that Aegis might have been a bigger deal, I think, than we thought. Just because they are they are playing a lot more defensively now. They've only lost two heroes in, you know, the past five minutes. But it's really stopped them from making plays. And we saw yesterday with, uh, with It's Okay was just that... If one hero dies on the map, and, and at least in this meta, you can't play as four really successfully. Of course, unless it's, you know, early game puck and you're just going around killing people, but... Right. You unless need to play as five, good. especially in the mid game. Otherwise, these team fights are going to are really, really one-sided. I mean, even with the 5k gold lead, like, all of the spells on Dire are really potent still. Yeah, I mean, that 5k lead could be swapped around at any point in time. Like you're saying, like the spells that are coming out from everybody on their team. You saw it. It picked off that Slardar almost immediately. So they, you're right. They have to play carefully. And they don't want to push their luck too hard. I, I I don't want to be like at this point they're waiting for the next Roche. But it has to be that scenario because they need that insurance plan. Well, and once John gets BKB, they want to continue to play aggressive. But I, I, I don't remember which uh, Dota caster used to say it. But I feel like... Uh, the Dire can still lose fights, and they can still win. Whereas Radiant, if they lose one or two fights, the game is going to get so much substantially harder that it, it's it's almost like it feels over, even though they're still going to be playing. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Right, and Rises so... has its Gaudi, and this T2 is getting pressured, and there's no lane for them to go up high ground to pressure the counter pressure. I mean, they have to let it go because, oh no, they're not letting it go. The Puck's team Mio... in. He's the only hero that can really do that, though. He's just trying to be obnoxious. Still, Rises doesn't want to be explicitly coiled, but I don't think they have any smokes. To... Or yeah, they don't have any smokes to kind of get behind him. So this might just be a, a get out. Oh, but they're running into the rest of Radiant. Yep. Rises has Lycan. to make the call. He pops the ult, but there yep. comes the song. That get out of jail free card. Expended. Trying yeah. to get that stun there, though. That would have been pretty cool if they got it. But they got Speed's yep. ultimate from this. There's no Roshan available, so this is just going to be used to push the wave at this point. Well, and it is a nice play, even though they didn't find anything. They do force all of the Dire Heroes kind of back into their base. They kind of reset the map with that rotation. But I think they just need to give Giant a little bit of space, finish that BKB. Because if he has BKB in that situation, he's not able to run. There, there isn't a j get out of jail free card because he's just going to get, you know, feasted on by Giant. And, it, and then they have to stay and fight. And that's exactly what the, the Radiant want. They want them to fight. But Dyer just going to keep on eluding them. Now they just have to play for the Hi. chance of an objective. What have we here? It's... They're playing. They're running circles around him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The and case BKB there. on speed is is next on the table. And I mean, maybe a, a BKB slaughter and a BKB Lycan, even without all the summons, can kill a Naga. Especially, I mean, he's going for the tank build. He's getting a butterfly now, but I, I, you can't help but it feels it feels like Radiant's game is almost slipping away from them. It feels like the space that's getting taken over by the Dire is is starting to become a little bit much. Just the, the Naga effect. Like, if you take a look at the map, like, all of this is where the Dire are being able to play right now. Whereas they're they're just getting T2s. They're, they're back to trading T2s at this point. Hmm. It just doesn't, it doesn't feel great right now, I feel like, if you're, if you're Radiant. Yeah, and they're, they're going high ground. They, they feel like they need to do something. Yeah, they have to make a play of some sort. Lycan's not 18 yet, so he doesn't have the second... Uh, he doesn't have max shape shift. Oh, Mio! The four staff. 
just in time, though. The value purchase for Steph. Oh, and Mio's too low. They have to. They have to back. And now, now the opposite. Now they're resetting the map, and Rises is completely happy with it. He's getting all the space in the world. I mean, at yeah, any you point see, in see time, the line run. they could go high ground at this point in time too. Rises. They've got. They've got enough damage if they want. But you're like, you're like you're talking about, all this space being made, he's capitalizing on it so hard. He's gonna have this, uh, he's gonna have a butterfly up really soon. Oh, and Roche may be spawning in 15 seconds. I mean, ev everything could come crumbling down at this next Roche fight. It's really, it's that important, I think. And BKB on Slardar finally, so... Yeah, does it spawn in 3 seconds? It does. Yeah, it said it will respawn, so we will there have we go. the next Roche up with the cheese. This is the big play here, and Stop Dire do not want them to end up getting it. And without PKB on speed, there could be a situation where, I mean, oh, they're actually going to like an ulti. Yeah, the boots are uh, trapped from the puck. They want Bloody Sky. They're going for him. They find him with this one-man coil for the time being, but the get out of jail free card, the song, is there. Oh. Not expending the BKB quite but yet. They want to fight they have this. the Ricky on the low ground. They want to keep going for this one gonna pop the ult there from the maiden but it's not gonna do anything and they find two they might go for three here but the speed. bkb Easy finally revealed out. giant coming in going for more speed trying to get out of there as much nice as possible stun. there's a beautiful stun from giant as well they want to go for more they want the naga bash question marks not there the bkb just finished off but they yeah, hit him with the stun from the jakiro they buy back they immediately though he's getting really low hp the shackles it's gonna oh. kill him with the creeps from the lichen they get the kill, but the Shaman's very low. Now here comes the dieback, possibly Almost from Zabo. He goes down to the main double die as well. Total. Oh, oh, giant's no, got a TP. Yet, yet, though, Giant oh. walks in front of Bloody Sky. Mio is here, oh, the shackled no. Giant. He's like, I've got very low HP to work with, but I'll try get my it. best. Can't quite get it. This is now Giant, though. With him going down, Bloody Sky can pick, get pickoffs. But still, three buybacks committed. Yeah, it looks like everybody will escape now. I mean, let's look at this fight recap. I want to see how much gold was expended here because there's no way. Yeah, it's definitely still, it's definitely still in the in the marker of the of Radiant just dominating with it. Well, and I, I, it was a really strange jump because okay, Buddy Sky's in trouble. They song to save Buddy Sky, but then. Sabo and Prince jump the back line, but those heroes aren't songed. Only the Lycan is songed, and then they start losing that fight. So do they want to get in? Do they want to get out? And they just they just all get cleaned up. That's why they had to buy back so many heroes to try and salvage it. And I mean, Buddy Sky did sort of salvage it, taking out Speed and, and Giant, but still, it, it was such a weird engage. I don't know if they wanted to run, because I mean, they were successful in running every other time. But now with three buybacks down, I don't know if they can even contest this Roche uh, without, you know, being worried about throwing the game at this point. It looks like that is also the play that they're going for here. The smoke in the mid. They want to get the Roche like you're talking about. They can't They can't contest it. But, it's I mean, just such a huge risk they're if they're even it. being near the pit. Oh, do they see Sabo? They ping it. They know that it's and not And they're there. daytime. Sabo's got to run. There. The, they get him with the coil BKB. Now that they got a pick off though, they're going to take this post and then they're likely going to start going walking. I, Ooh, I changed my mind. Speed, oh, he demon. wants it. This is a very dead looking maiden, although they do have the jail free card. They will start the TPs out there. But as to soon as that happens, stun. oh, do they want to go high ground? They, they, they might just turn around and go Roche. Yeah, they're just going to 360 into the pit. Yeah, I mean, they, there's no song, there's no earth spirit. It's just you, you might as well take it right now. You're also on the the last little bit of speed. Oh, your Necrons oh, but are still alive. They want to fight it. They want to come. I mean, that's the thing. They're is, all is migrating that over. This Roche is extremely important for both teams. Dire don't want them to have it, and Radiant need it as oh. an insurance plan to walk in the high ground. Net's gonna be on the Jakiro. The stun's gonna be there, but the BKB reveal from Prince is gonna be shown here. Oh, now it's they too do late. have the four staff double A brought back in. Uh, they do have the roll from the Earth Spirit. They have a oh, lot going on here, but still, they got Neo on the sidelines here. Rise is just cleaning up house. Double A about the. And there's cheese still in the pit. They're still in the pit. What happens? <laughs> they. Oh, they're not even done. BKB. Yeah, we on BKB speed. He has but... to leave. Yeah, they. 
they albino zebra was outside of the pit just being good trying to stop any smoke play any crazy jump in but but earth spirit was still dead there was no jump in i think he should have been safe on his high ground but he gets picked off and then it's just feed after feed and i i think that was double a's own force staff i i think he accidentally forced himself in it was either that or it was puck's force staff and and now i mean they're on to high ground this is the the reverse play i mean and this is what I was talking about earlier, where you you need to lose way more fights if you're dire, but one, two fights that's lost on the Radiant, and it, it'll be Rax at that point, even if they have the Ages. All right, dealing with uh, a light technical issue. Oh, no worries. But now I think the net worth lead, is, I mean, it's a 2K net worth lead now, but you take a look at the bottom farmers. And, and Giant only has Blink BKB. Your Shaman is, I mean, probably more, almost feels as farmed as your Slardar. Whereas the enemy team is, uh, I mean, this, this Razor has the tankiest boy. He's got Shiva's Guard, Crimson Guard, the Hood of Defiance. Wait, sorry, who are, who are we looking at? Still cleaning uh, Right now, stuff. Speed. Well, he, yeah, he has the Papa Zolt here to get out, though. He does have the Aegis, but at the same time, he wants yeah, to Prince go on Prince. Run. He wants him bad, but he's got no BKB. To, oh, he does have BKB to work with, and there's that BKB. He wants Prince, and he wants him bad so bad that he's Rise trying after him, but he's got to leave. Meanwhile, on the sidelines, Rise is being caught out by Giant on, on the jump. Coil there break. is enough burn damage. The Coil Break, too. Will confirm it. Maiden just popping off over here in the corner, but level two ult's not going to do nothing. It looks like Demon will be traded off here indefinitely. They find this nice double kill, and they realize that now that, the, now that this Naga is dead, they have some extra breathing room, and this breathing room needs to be established. They need to push. They need to take something. But Speed well, is at no half buyback. HP. He's got no ult, and by the time it's up, Naga will be available. Yeah, they, they are going to go up high ground just because that, that's just exactly what they need to do. He's actually got the shard queued up on Lycan. I like it. <laughs> I just like, I, I always look at this shard and it's like, okay. Like, I remember when it was the axe. <laughs> that was the fun oh, one. They and they get glyph. Yeah, they need to fort. But this is going to be, it, it's risky for them to stay here. But Mio goes Boyle in. comes in. Mio thinks otherwise. He gets Beautiful. the kill on Prince. He has to, no, he doesn't have to buy because Naga will be up in 10. They'll get the tower at least, but it is Crimson Guarded at the moment, thanks to Bloody Skies Crimson Guard. If they want to keep the racks, they might oh. want to do it, but yeah, we yeah, will have to buy back. There's the buyback from Ricky. They want to keep these racks like you're talking about. The new might go down the too. Double A, but at the same time, Zosbo goes down, and they need to disengage. At the oh, same Bloody time, Sky. the Lycan, not thinking the same thing. He might be in trouble here. He goes down. The first life expended. No BKB available. He uses the offensively. He's getting low. He TPs. He's out of there. That was so close. Bloody Sky almost gets taken out inside of his own fountain. I, I was really worried be because he popped that shapeshift on his first life, but he was just able to get out. Naga just veered a little bit too far away. He could have been able to song and, and get him, but but still, I mean, you lose Demon, you lose Sabo, but the Naga's back out on the map. And I mean, once he gets Abyssal Blade, she's a really big threat. I think almost at this point, they need to start dodging the Naga, or they need to dump everything into her. I mean, what... What can you really do to for the dump at this point? Because, like, it's not... Your Lycan's not running a lot of heavy damage at the moment. He's still big pushing hero. He's going for the Abyssal himself, which probably will help you confirm. Yeah, I think, exactly what he needs. Like, he needs that, and then Slardar needs just to be able to be able to actually hit the Naga. And the problem is, is that since she's got Butterfly and 13 Strength as her 15 Talent. Like, she's not only beefy, but is very hard to hit in the first place. You have to chain stun. Well, and you can already see in their posture, they they really can't afford to lose any fights. They're playing really conservatively now, right now on Radiant. And I mean, at the same time, you have Prince, you forced out his buyback, but he, he hasn't been the big winner, I think, in a lot of these fights. He, he has kind of been the annoyance that Puck has had to deal with, but if Prince goes down, I, I don't think the game is necessarily over. All right, I had I had to check, right? You remember the win probability thing we were having yesterday? Oh, yeah? Right? All right, I looked at the win probability, and it was like, that looks at least 25% on the side of Electronic right off the get-go. It's the Lycan. 
It's got to be like like and puck or something. It, it's it's definitely like and puck. Like twenty five percent is one hundred percent the like and puck there. It still says that they're gonna be the ones that could take this, but like sitting at a seventy five percent win chance versus the eventuality of Naga just running over you. It's like it's like you were pointing out at the very beginning of the game at, in our draft. They're on a timer, and now they're running out of that time. And they have to like play everything beyond carefully. Sure, it's a 2K net worth leap now, but you look at it now, like the net worth gain and loss over time. They had a 10K at one point in time. One bad team fight drops them down to two. They're back up to five when they kill the Naga, and then back to two again when Naga's back up. Naga, like you're saying, is literally the legitimate problem for all of the Radiant to try to get out of this one. When they're smoked up, they're trying to find... They knew one hero went top. Actually, actually two heroes went top, but... They're unable to find anything. And I mean, you can just see it in in them. Oh, in Electronic Boys, but they're gonna smoke up. They, they're gonna break the silence. They're gonna try and get something going now. I mean, this isn't even like a last hurrah smoke. Like this is exactly how this, it just needs that. They need something. In the Wolf Scout, they find the CM. They find Maiden immediately. They have the coils on the sideline, slowing down this Viper for the time being. Ricky being stunned up, the song being expended. Question is, Crowd. is this the fight or the escape? This is the escape. Yeah, Giant wasn't able to uh, to get his BKB up. They they had vision of the Naga, so I'm surprised the BKBs didn't drop sooner because it would have made it a, a little bit hairier for them to get out because Giant could just control them up. But still, that Naga, they, they just get to reset. And yeah, they draw the line. They they smoke out immediately after that song, even though they, they use their cooldowns, but they're just going to keep going exactly where they were. No coil. But I mean, close up in 20 yeah, seconds. It's still so seconds. broken. It's, it's a still very broken. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you think that this hero needs oh, to be nerfed? Sabo. Oh, hang on. What was he doing? That's a very aggressive roll. They find the kill on double A, though. The Sabo. rest of the team is here. Sasbo's looking for somebody. But just can't quite get the second catch. But they've got this pick off now. The shaman's not really one that's like, oh, now that he's dead, we can push the tower kind of hero. But they're going to apply pressure. That's the power of the Naga still anyway. And now... Even with that smoke that they wanted to do, they're stuck in base. Yeah, they just, uh, it, it's so difficult. It's its really difficult and they're just not, they can't fight as forward. They're just going to stay in the base. It's almost like everything is brought about this Roche. I still don't know what happened with that cheese. That cheese was wild. I don't know, but, who picked uh, it up? Somebody's got it at this point. I don't think they used it. I, I think someone, is, is it in the, is it on the floor? I, I know Sabo picked it up. Uh, maybe, maybe somebody it used might it, maybe used. Viper used. Yeah, it looks like it was a Viper use because it's, uh, unless somebody sold it. You never sell cheese though. No, that's you never sell cheese. <laughs> That's the dumbest idea ever. Yeah, Puck, Puck definitely needs to be nerfed. I, I think if, if Coil's not a longer cooldown, it, it needs to at least <laughs> be less good like half it's, it's the just duration. such a good spell. like it's six seconds that you're basically stunned yeah it's it's and i mean with the ags too i mean puck ags has always been a thorn in everyone's side but before you could just kind of ignore it with status resistance but now i those builds aren't as good previous patch you just get satanic sanjanyasha and you could just you know ignore everything actually but we got another smoke up Smoking up again. They want to get this. Oh, double A pops. Revealed. They had no idea that the Prince was on the high ground. They find the Blink Abyssal, Abyssal with the two-man coil, though, as the response. But Giant trying to put down some damage. Beautiful macro goes down. No song this time, though, as the Naga's not even here. Now rises. the Naga's here. That doesn't matter, Naga. though. They find Rises. They're picking him off left and right. The buyback out dead. from the from Slardar as well. They find Bloody Sky. His HP is just melting. They find a five-man team wipe, and they're just like, okay, we need to end the game. Force buybacks, anything. Roche isn't up. No, Roche is up. This is Refresher Shard Roche, too. Yeah. And I think they're going to force buybacks and then go to Roche, probably just because it's so fast. But that, that was that was perfect. Literally perfect. They There were two ice paths on top of, I think, three heroes there. Albina Zebra just put the team on his back for that one. Mio got a three-man coil as well. There was nothing they could do. As soon as BKBs faded on the Ricky, he was just food. And they're trying to save the buyback on the Naga, but 
I, I, mean, I think it's got to be free. Yeah, they're just going to end. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're going to end. Like, they need to buy if the if this tower goes down, and there's the buy immediately. Yeah. But now that they have the slow, they, now they have to win the some fight. They need to be Rises careful. comes in. BKB expended on speed, though, on the sidelines. Well, Giant trying to get in there. The Hex is there immediately for slowing down. Zosmo, this could die a second Naga. This is huge if they get it. Naga dies a second time. As well as the Viper, he hits the floor in this. Looks like it's gonna be game now. Who cares about yeah. the Roche? Speed is just here. They've got the Necron so units. Low, He's it. even using Transform. He's got it. Shapeshift. This game is over. I mean, team, yeah, team can't do anything. They're they're not gonna call it, but there we go. Prince there, Speed there's the G, out. and they want the kill on Demon just for safe measure. And they will take this game. It looked very close multiple times into this game, but. Ending the game 42 and 19, still with a 17k net worth lead at 41 minutes. Yeah, and I mean, it was it was never out of Aristotle's ball field. It just they just needed a few pushes here and there, and I mean, either side could have won up until that coil three ice path. That was a crazy fight, and they had it. They had the vision. They had the high ground. It was just some slight misplays and a great jump from Mio, and that just brought him down. And then at the end, it was all double A. Double A just controlling up the Naga. He dies back. They, they weren't ready for any of it. I mean, it was like you were saying. They needed to focus him at all points and times of the game. And you were right. You're right that double A literally just, he performed exactly as he needed to be. And Electronic Boys, with that, they take the game. It, it was very close, like I said, multiple times. But you know what? It's Puck Dota. It's Puck. Double A with excellent disengage and re-engagement. Stuff like that. He's died multiple times. The Jakiro, I felt, was like a really weird last pick. But, like, being able to macro creeps when the push was getting a little bit too close. Having the early game, like, absolute domination in the lane. Well, and I mean, it, if you think about it, right, it is a pretty monster Jakiro pick, right? You you always kind of grief the Ricky as soon as he comes out of his tricks of trade. CM can never ulti around you. And it kind of retroactively ended up being good versus the Naga. You just have that long distance catch. And I mean, I, I think it was a really good Naga game. They played it really well. They just needed more time. I mean, that, that's always the Naga. You always need more time. And I mean, if that game goes on another 10 minutes, I mean, they were looking really scared. They had to play really conservatively, but they pulled it off. Yeah, once they found out what they needed to grab, who they needed to grab, and how they could get to them, it was basically they were able to walk over the Naga right at the end of the game. I think the big, it was the big double A. Like, if there's a VIP, it is double A in this game, 100%. I know that people will be like, oh, it's the puck because it's puck. Well, Puck's just kind of given at this point, dude. Yeah, but well, Puck is just gonna do Puck things. You know, that's like how Twitch chat votes on the core being the VIP every time. But it's or never. Or they vote for Demon, you know. <laughs> vote for Demon. <laughs> hey, I mean, Crystal Maiden's a hard. hard I'll never one forget Febby winning the Mercedes Benz at ES. <laughs> I keep on forgetting. God, that was crazy. That was funny. <laughs> he was the first team to get knocked out, but he, he gets the heads. <laughs> Oh, but anyway, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is still a best of three, but it is lower bracket. So Aristotle need to take this next game or they're out of here. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with game number two of Electronic Voice versus Aristotle.